Okay, so it's time for an update on our fruit set. <laughs> That's coming up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here today on a beautiful spring, mid-April day, actually evening, here in 2019. What we wanted to do is we wanted to give you guys an update from a video that we posted on March 19th. I'm gonna link that right here for you. So basically we had a very, very cold, hard frost that came through in March and we had a lot of our trees that were in the middle of flowering. We actually were really concerned with our, with our chances for for fruit set and fruit production because of that late frost. What we wanted to do is we wanted to give you an update on exactly how the fruit set's turning out on these trees. So we've got six trees to cover. I'm gonna go as quick as I can so we can bring you guys up to speed. What you see behind me here is our tropic snow peach. Now, if Lori wants to slide in, let's look at some of those flowers from a month ago and see how they're doing. So we were looking right here and we were talking about flowers and the effect of those the frost on those flowers and look at the fruit set that we have. Just fantastic. In fact, we're going to be doing some thinning tonight because we need to get this thinned out. It's a little too heavy. Now it is um, a little hit and miss. So that one's not bad. We have some other areas of the tree where we're a little bit more sparse, but this is a younger tree. So I would kind of expect it to not be fruiting too, too heavy so far this year. This is its second year basically in the ground. So very, very good fruit set on our tropic snow peach. Okay, so next up on our list is our Florida Prince Peach. Now, last year, we had a really rough fruit set last year. Got very, very few fruit compared to the prior year because of a late cold snap. This year, if Lori wants to slide on in, I think we're doing just fine and dandy. So this is our first peach that actually comes out of bud, that breaks bud, and sets fruit. And if she can, hopefully you guys are picking this up on camera, but we have got some serious thinning to do. Guys, this tree is doing fantastic. This is our favorite peach. We love this peach, just an amazing flavor. Uh, but I'll tell you what, a fantastic fruit set on here. So it looks like the frost on this tree, we're okay. Okay, so next tree on our list would be our desert gold peach. So lots of flowering that was developed on this tree, and it's kind of hard to see because they're still really small, but I'll kind of give you guys an idea of fruit set. It is just everywhere, guys. All those flowers we were looking at, lots of thinning we need to do. This tree is loaded, just loaded with fruit. So again, I think we are just fine as far as the effect of frost on this peach tree. Okay, so next tree up on our update would be our golden dorset. So now apple trees, they do flower and set fruit a little bit differently. They set fruit in clusters. Uh, usually those clusters have five fruit or so in them. We got a lot of fruit in here. It doesn't have any weird kind of funky damage. Uh, so a good fruit set in here. Not quite as heavy as it was last year, but still a very, very strong fruit set. Uh, we've got a nice cluster down here. You can see that we got five fruit down there. Uh, so really, really good as far as the fruit set on here. Looking up at some of our uh, new growth that we didn't cut back too heavily this year, looks like we've got several fruits up in there. So a little thinning to do, but for the most part, lots of apples here on this Golden Dorset again this year. Okay, so next tree update would be our Anna apple. I'll tell you what, you know what guys, we had a really weak harvest last year on this Anna apple tree, but let me tell you what, it is coming back strong this year. You can see the fruit cluster here looks fantastic. Lots of fruit clustering in here. Massive amounts of fruit clustering in here. Really every single arm that I look at on this tree has got clusters of fruit all the way across it. So just fantastic. On tree number five, so far five out of five trees trees, I'll tell you what, frost, <laughs> we're good. Okay, last but not least would be our Tropic Sweet Apple. So what you'll see is we've got several fruit, uh, fruit clusters here. Not quite as big, um, so we've got a couple here. Um, we've got a smaller cluster of four there. Got a little bit of misshapen on that, not too, too bad. Uh, let's see, as we continue to go back, you can see single, uh, just single sets here. Got a double here. I've uh, got one here, a double here, but I'm seeing a lot more of just like a single fruit set, not big groups of fruit. So it looks to me like our tropic, our tropic sweet apple had a little bit more of a challenge as far as setting fruit with that frost. So something for us to keep in mind going forward. 
So I'm gonna say five out of six. <laughs> five out of six trees that we were really concerned with that late frost on that f early flowering that we got back in February and March. Five out of the six trees are just doing fantastic with fruit set. Nice, heavy fruit set. We're gonna have to come back and thin, which is our job now. But cool update, five out of six. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. You know, if you haven't done so already, hey, subscribe to the channel. You know, we cover a lot of things here on the channel. Obviously fruit trees, were in full fruit tree season for us here in the desert. So we're covering a lot of that, but you know, we do livestock and other things here as well. Obviously our big thing now is gonna be our move from this one acre farm to a six acre flat piece of desert land that we're gonna turn into a functioning farm. We'd love it if you would join us. Instagram, Facebook, we post content there that you won't see here on the YouTube channel. And if I haven't mentioned it already, you know, we started up an Amazon page a lot of you guys had asked us questions and suggestions as far as products that we use here and are proven here in the desert. We've got a new Amazon page. I'll link down in the description below. And you know, as always, questions, comments, we'd love to get those from you guys. Leave them in the comment section down below. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you.